refuge. February 28. Our God is a God filled with mercy. With long suffering and with tender compassion, he deals with the transgressor of his law. Understand that the Lord bears long with men and with cities, mercifully giving warnings to save them from the divine wrath. But a time will come uh, when pleadings for mercy will no longer be heard. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 21, it says, Behold, the Lord uh, cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. The Bible tells us uh, this and in this uh, particular scripture, the word iniquity, taken in context, refers to guilty uh, sin or those who are guilty. Uh, we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But once we accept Jesus' grace, we are free from the guilt of a sin. If we do not accept the grace of God, then we will be found guilty of iniquity or guilty of sin. You might be wondering uh, how Christ will deal with those who would have been found guilty of sin. It is simple. Uh, like the scripture says, he would have no mercy, for he would only be merciful to those who would have dealt uh, uh, with sin in the kind of way of allowing him to come into their lives for him to deal with sin. For if we do not have him in our lives, or if we refuse his grace, which is the pardon for the guilty sinner, uh, then his mercy will no longer be extended to you and to me. Why not let us just trust his word uh, today? And let us just ask God for the grace or the pardon uh, from Jesus Christ, uh, so that uh, we will not be guilty of iniquity. Now, that is the power of his word. Why not let's ask him? Let's pray. Father, we just ask you uh, to free us from the guilt of sin. We thank you for all that you have done, dear Lord. And we surrender our lives to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.